Hello everyone, this is Cher. Welcome to my channel, Cher Space. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please watch, like, comment, share and subscribe. Today I want to read to you the poem Light Shining Out of Darkness by William Cooper. I will also share my thoughts with you on this poem. Light Shining Out of Darkness God moves in a mysterious way his wonders to perform. He plants his footsteps in the sea and rides upon the storm. Deep in unfathomable minds of never failing skill, he treasures up his bright designs and works his sovereign will. Ye fearful saints, fresh courage take. The clouds ye so much dread are big with mercy and shall break in blessings on your head. Judge not the Lord by feeble sense, but trust him for his grace. Behind a frowning providence, he hides a smiling face. His purposes will ripen fast, unfolding every hour. The bud may have a bitter taste, but sweet will be the flower. Blind unbelief is sure to err and scan his work in vain. God is his own interpreter and he will make it plain. The light here is the light of God or the divine light. Darkness stands for the hardships and problems and difficulties of life. The light of heaven can shine on our hardships and problems and difficulties and point the solution or the way out of these difficulties. God moves in a mysterious way. Many times we do not understand the ways of God. His ways are higher than our ways. But God is powerful and as overwhelming as the storm is and as big as the ocean is, it is just a footstool with which he can put his footsteps. It is interesting that God has placed designs of gold and silver and diamonds deep down in the center of the earth in caves. But he has provided skilled laborers who will be able to take out those treasures. Most of the time, saints or good people are fearful and timid. William Cooper advised the fearful saints or the good people who are full of fear to take fresh courage because the clouds that they are so much afraid of will one day break in blessings on their head. The clouds of difficulties and problems and hardships may appear so overwhelming and threatening and dark. But behind those clouds, there are blessings. The truth is that we learn very little during good times. Our character is not developed much during good times. But when we go through affliction and suffering, it shapes our character for the better. We learn what it is like to be in another person's shoes. We stop being judgmental. We become more understanding of others. We also learn how to solve problems. Thus, so many wonderful things are born out of the time of difficulty that we go through. In fact, if we never go through difficulties, we would become very immature.